टॉकिंग अबाउट द ऑफलाइन इमोशन पार्ट तो हाउ इज लाइक एक साल में कितनी बार बुलाते हैं लाइक वॉट डू द टीच एंड कितने दिन का स्टे होता है टोटल स्टाइल बहुत है uh yeah this thing is actually being changed a lot uh because of uh, i think because that there are more number of students who are registering each term so uh let me just tell you that in december last year which is december 2023 uh we had i mean they had conducted the first electronics lab for the first ever uh, es students which was uh, students from the inaugural batch so i was there and along with me i had a couple of friends also who were in the same batch as me so uh during that time they had called us for four days so char din ke liye lab tha we had to go uh, to ramanujan block which was, which is located near gajendra sakur right so that is a classroom uh, sort of thing there so in the classroom we have to sit uh, we have to go there at 9 am and from 9 to 12 we had our first session from uh, and then from 2 to i think 4 or 5 we had a second session so across the four days they gave us a pdf in which uh, it has a, it had a list of things that we needed to do using the kit and the components that they gave us so uh, and in and they also had tas okay so these tas were uh, the students from the btech and electrical engineering so they were uh, monitoring us well monitoring as in they were uh, there to guide us and they were there to grade us also so after we were done with our experiment we needed to show it to them and we need to we needed to explain it to them okay so that that was what was done in the four days and uh, along with es thinking labs we also had c programming labs so in those four days i think uh, i don't remember correctly now for some reason but uh, i think it was in the morning session we had es labs and in the evening session i think we had c labs so right now they have discontinued the c programming lab they have made it online hmm. so online as in the students are required to uh, do those uh, programming assignments and all and submit to the ta online but uh, when i was in the first batch they had called us and they made us sit in a classroom and they gave us objectives and uh, we had to do that using uh, replet and get up codes this is and all got it so, so those... that was basically the four days and yeah so those four days have now been reduced to two uh, as per the current information to you well current information well uh, let me just tell you that due to paradox or not i am not sure if it was because of paradox but uh, this time when uh, we had our electronics lab it was just one day so there were two slots actually uh, it was uh, the electronics lab was exactly one day before paradox and one day after paradox so uh, as i had an event and i was busy with paradox preparations i obviously uh, i obviously chose the slot on the second i mean the second slot which was the day after paradox so it was just one day and uh, most of us was uh, most of us. so and uh, in our mind we told ourselves that it was mostly because of paradox uh, we thought that uh, paradox to hai isliye professors ne ek din rakha hoga obviously pehle pehle ke char panch din obviously bachcho ne enjoy kiya hoga but when we talked to the professors they told us that from now on all labs would be just one day so that was uh, pretty much well it was sort of disappointing but at the same time it was uh, well quite uh, good to know also that we won't be uh, spending a lot of time in iit madras also because they wanted us to go home and uh, well professors were obviously uh, talking about theoretical uh, theory part they wanted us to focus more on theory and practical they said that yeah uh, initially we thought that it was because of paradox but the professor told us that ab se sare ke sare labs ek din rahenge so it was a sad moment but uh, anyways no worries ek din to milta hai to we are happy about that so like per term there would be one day lab uh, well it actually depends on the subjects you take in every term uh, there is the option to take a subject which has labs but some students may prefer to take only two subjects right uh the students which uh, i mean the students who are doing a uh, dual degree uh, i mean something in parallel so if those students take only two degrees uh, sorry two courses which do not have a lab then uh, the we can we can say that our term will be a lab rahega but uh, yeah they, they have left us a choice that uh, in every term we'll get a lab but in foundation level especially but in diploma level uh, from term 2 of the diploma level we have lab courses mm-hmm. so in foundation level both both of the terms have labs but it's quite different in diploma level so in diploma level there is compulsory lab uh compulsory uh, i mean i didn't understand what is compulsory like uh per term you have to take a course which has lab in diploma in foundation there is a choice uh, uh no no a choice as in see uh there are some subjects which if you take those subjects you will obviously have to take labs with them so electronic systems thinking was once that subject and uh, in term 2 of foundation there was electronic circuits 
So along with electronic circuits, we have to do electronic slab. So if it is sort of a core requisite. So if you take that subject, you'll have to take its lab component also. So in the foundation, both of the terms have labs. If you take the, I mean, if you take certain subjects, but in diploma, I mean, in this term, I don't have labs actually because uh, uh, none of the subjects have uh, the choice of labs. So for diploma 11, the lab starts from term two, which is the next term, the term after this. So it depends on the subjects you take, whether you have a lab or not. But on average, how can you go to the year for the labs on average? Uh, huh. On average, if you uh, if you are a student who is taking at least three courses or a maximum of four courses, then you can say that uh, you have to go to the year for two years. But if you're doing something uh, like a dual degree or something like most of my friends are doing, then uh, ek bar bhi, I mean, it's sort of difficult that at least once a year you'll get. But uh, most probably it will be during December because that is when they keep the apps. Guys, you are finding this video helpful. If you are still watching this, so please abhi is channel ko subscribe kardo for more such videos. December ke around hota hai or dusra time slot kya hota hai labs ka? Uh, December ke around hota hai because uh, that is when the term usually sort of ends. Because they keep it, if it is possible now, they keep it after the term. Or they keep it when the term is about to end. So uh, the, that is what it is. So last time September term mein tha mein, to isliye December mein tha. So for the people who are uh, in this May term, so for them, if they take ele- electronic systems thinking, then May, June, I think June end or July, they'll get to see the labs. So December was mostly because I was in the inaugural batch. If you're a September student, then it will be in December. Got it. Got it. Got it. So, and like your accommodation is provided, hostel and mess for the students? Yeah, all, all accommodation, hostel, everything is provided. So, uh, in December last time, I was actually in Alaknanda Hostel. Uh, I was there for five days. So, they, they had called us one day before the labs and they told us to vacate the premises one day after the lab. So, if, a lab, if the lab is today, I mean the last lab is today, then they expect us to leave the hostel by tomorrow morning. So, that is when... I, uh, Extra time they had given us. Hmm. Got it. So, ab ek din ka yoga. So, like, there will be one day lab and one day time to vacate the hostel. So, that's gonna be... Yeah, correct. Got it. So, yeah, in the future. So, let's let's just say if your lab is scheduled to be on the 7th of some month. Hmm. So, you will be called on the 6th of evening. They'll say that, uh, go to this place. For me, it was the NAC, New Academic Complex. So, I had to go there. I had to give in all my details. And after that, I had to go back to the hostel. And I mean, the hostel was not locked. They, they asked me to bring my own lock and key and lock the room. Hmm. So yeah, so what I was saying was, if, you, if your lab is on the 7th, then they'll ask you to come on the evening of the 6th. And they'll ask you to leave on the morning of the 8th. Morning or afternoon. It depends on when your flight or train. That much, some half a day they allow. If you say that my train is leaving late. So please, hmm. it is uh, understand, understandable. Uh, but yeah, right now, as they have reduced it to one day, uh, it is uh, going to be pretty, uh, well, it is going to be sort of well, sad for the new students because they know that there are other students also who spend four days for the same thing that they are doing in one day. Bit hectic for the people like who are coming from train from Delhi. So train is for 27 hours and then you got to stay yeah. for one day. So it's a bit weird in that sense, but it's okay. It's, it is what it is. Yeah, it is. See, most people don't complain actually because uh, IT Madras has this uh, uh, be- has given them this beautiful opportunity. Even I am grateful for them having given me a beautiful opportunity to uh, uh, register for this BS in Electronic Systems and actually go to the campus to do the uh, do all the experiments. So I think because of this thing that uh, IT Madras officially calls everyone to the campus, I think because of that nobody complains that uh, we have to travel. How long will it take? What is the expenditure? That so that is one good thing that they have done. And, uh, and obviously it is uh, it is that they are allowing you to stay in the hostels also just like all the other students who are staying there full time so it is something that uh, they want to well they don't complain because of that because of the entire experience thing. yes the experience is great the campus and you have access to libraries too and the hostel like interaction it's pretty great it was awesome talking to you it was really insightful and for students who want to check out his YouTube channel, it would be first link in description. Thank you so much, man. It was my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me.